Hello everybody, my name is Edgar Quinteros. I'm working in the National Institute of Health, a dependence of the Ministry of Health of El Salvador. In this time, I'm going to present our research about the pesticide exposure from agricultural and industrial source in San Luis Talpa, a municipality of El Salvador. This study was carried out together other research from the National Institute of Health and from Ohio University. The pesticide exposure can be from two sources, environmental, mainly for the obsolete pesticide abandoned and occupational, mainly for the agricultural activities. According to the Food and Agricultural Organization, around the world it is more than 35,000 of tons of obsolete pesticide, some of them in poor condition, mainly in Latin America. According to the data compiled from the Ministry of Environment and Natural Resources, in El Salvador it is five warehouses of obsolete pesticides. In three of them, the obsolete pesticides were removed, but in two warehouses the obsolete pesticides are storage yet. In some cases, the obsolete pesticides are abandoned in warehouses in poor condition near to the human settlement. This action is an important exposure for both people and environment. The International Labor Organization classified the mining, construction and agriculture as the most hazardous profession. The exposure to pesticides in the agriculture is the major risk in this profession. Especially in El Salvador, this activity is exacerbated due to the malpractice massive use of pesticide, poorly designed tools, non-use the personal protective equipment, and road terrain. All this can be contributed with the high mortality rate, frequently poisoning, prolonged exposure, family exposure, and environmental contamination. This study was conducted in Loma del Gallo community in San Luis Talpa municipality. Loma del Gallo is a rural community located in the southern side of Littoral Road and it is surrounded south and east by sugarcane crops and by the Orcoyo River in the west. In the community area also there are small agricultural areas with maize, beans and teca tree. At another side of Littoral Road there is Quimagro, a former pesticide factory. The eye of this study is describe the different route of exposure to pesticide in the Loma del Gallo population. This is a cross-sectional study carried out during 2013 and 2014 consisting on a survey carried out to identify the environmental and occupational exposure to pesticide in the population of the Loma del Gallo community. Inspection in Quimagro Pesticide Former Factory and a survey were made. In December 2013, the first inspection was performed. Pesticide stored, chemical dumping and waste in the former plant were described. In December 2014, the Environmental Ministry removed the obsolete pesticides and other polluted material from the plant. In January 2015, the second inspection was conducted. In this inspection, the persistent pesticide risks was identified and described. The questionnaire had three sections. The first one was regarding demographic data. It contained about the time of residence in the community. Eight, material status and education level. The second section was about environmental exposure and include pesticide management at home, perception of exposure to pesticide applied in closer field crops and about their relationship with former pesticide factory. The third section was oriented only to farmers and was regarding the pesticide exposure during agricultural activities. It is include questions for codes in pesticide handling. Six buildings were identified in the Quimagro pesticide plant, a laboratory facilities, three warehouses, a toilet and a warehouse. Chemical residues improperly stored in lab facilities were identified. In the northwest of the warehouse too, a semi-buried barrel was found. 
on the north side of the warehouse. Three different chemical weights were identified. Into the laboratory facilities, pesticide waste was found. In warehouse three, metals and plastic container full of chemical were placed on wooden pallets was found. Some of these metal containers were damaged due to corrosion. These generate chemical spills. In the second inspection in Kimauro Pesticide Factory, the semi-barred barrel was found again. This knot was removed. The chemical waste at north side of the warehouse tree was totally removed. The pesticide waste in the laboratory facilities was removed too. The metal and plastic container full of chemical stored in the warehouse tree were totally removed. According to the Environmental Ministry, Kimauro stored for more than 30 years 34.6 tons of chemicals, divided in 2.3 tons of metamidophos and monocrotophos, 70.7 tons of ethylparation and methylparation, 3.8 tons of toxafen, 1.5 tons of chlordimephorin, 3.2 tons of chemation, 3.9 tons of solvent such as acetone, methylglycol, and xylene, and 5.2 tons of sponto, a family of emulsifier. Interview population was formed by 56 women and 44 men, with age ranging between 18 and 94 years. 44% of the interview has primary education and 22% are illiterate. Of the 41 people interviewed, 42% are farmer and the 58% have other occupation like half-wife. On average, population have resided in the community at least 23 years. In addition, 70% of the interview work in Kimagro former factory. Majority of the interview people have a farmer family member. A significant portion of the population store pesticide at home. Generally, pesticides are stored hanging from the trees and sometimes are stored in the house corridor. To interview carry out pesticide mixture at home, farmer clothes contaminated but pesticide represent a risk to their family. Mixture pesticide in the home can be generating spill, splash and gases. These are a potential risk to farmer family and animals. All farmers cultivate corn, a minority cultivates beans and a few cultivate sugarcane. However, other crops were observed in the study area such as cassava, sorghum, sesame, and vegetable. The majority of farmers work in the agriculture for more than 10 years and have the same time applying pesticide. Farmers have been exposed to pesticide over a long time. In the purchase and selection of pesticide, the farmer not taking into account the pesticide toxicity. The pesticides used by the farmer are selected according to the effectiveness and price mainly. More than half of farmers read the pesticide levels and the moment to buy. But the 41% of the farmer not read the pesticide label. According to the FAO, the pesticide label are legal document that indicate the correct pesticide use and there is almost always the unique guide to inform about the correct pesticide use. The label contains pictograms of the help the farmer to understand the right information. Farmers use 19 pesticide products, comprising of 11 active ingredients. These include insecticide and herbicide. The commonly used active ingredients include paraquat, metamidophos, atrazina, methylparation, methomil, foxine, 2,4-D, chlorpyrifos, glyphosate, malation, and duron. The atrazine and 2,4-D and duron are less used, however, they are applied in large crops area. According to World Health Organization risk classification, 
36% of the pesticides commonly used are moderately hazardous. To 18% are unlikely to present acute hazard in normal use. 18% are highly hazardous. 90% are extremely hazardous and 9% are slightly hazardous. Six pesticides used by the farmer, paraquat, metamidophos, methylparation, metomil, and malation, can't be aerial applied in El Salvador. However, marketing and manual application has no restriction. Except the 2,4-D, all pesticides used by farmers are recommended to be prohibited or restricted by different international agreements and conventions. The paraquat is the pesticide more used, mainly in the corn crops. The Pesticide Action Network had recommended ban this pesticide. Paraquat is banned by the European Union. Methylparation is banned by all international convention and agreement. In general, all pesticides used by farmers represent a health risk. Most farmers use bus or pickup to transport pesticides. The other people who travel in the collective transport is exposed to pesticides. In some cases, the pickup are used for transport people, housing material and animals. FAO recommended not transport pesticides to gather food, animal or person. The majority of farmers store pesticides in their homes. Small quantities of pesticides are stored improperly in the house. This practice is similar in other rural zones in El Salvador. People have the false perception that ham, the pesticide in the tree, is a good solution. The climate can damage the plastic bag and generate a spill. 29% mix different pesticides, 29% make the mixture in the application place and the 12% mix them in their home. The mixture may are paraquat plus atrazine, cipermetrine plus fertilizer, durum plus 2,4-D plus atrazine, and atrazine plus durum. The mixture of pesticide is a dangerous practice. In this practice, the farmers are exposed to the active pesticide compound. Generally, the pesticide is mixed with water and in some cases, the farmer mixes two different pesticides. During the mixture, they can be produced splash and spill and the solid pesticide can be produced cold of dust. Mix different type of pesticide optimize the time of application but not all pesticides can be mixed together. The level indicate the permissible mixture. For example, the atrazina doesn't compatible with alkaline or acid pesticide, therefore the mixture identified in this study doesn't advisable. All farmers use manual backpack spray pumps to apply pesticide. Most farmers wash the pump after the pesticide application. The pesticide application through manual pump of 70 to 20 liters of capacity means a moderate workload. This problem is aggravated because the monthly average temperature in the study sum is about 13 to 35 grade centigrade. The Salvadoran workload established a temperature between 28 to 29 grade centigrade for a modern world with a 25% of the work time for rest. The hard condition to which workers are subject produce a lot of sweat and therefore skim dehydration, which facilitates the absorption of pesticides. The world also increases respiration rate and thus increases the absorption of this system. More than half of farmers dump the empty pesticide container in the field. Other farmers bury the containers, and some burn or wash and reuse the pesticide container. Most farmers reported that they normally store the pesticide leftover for respray in a next time, 
other apply the leftover solution in surrounding area. The empty pesticide container abandoned in the cultivation or housing area is a source of environmental pollution and a human health risk. This practice is common among the farmers, especially in developing countries. The bottles, even empty, always keep considerable amount of pesticide on their walls, which may affect the health of people in contact with this and are generally regarded as a source of environmental pollution. The pesticide overload in the environment is caused by the pesticide reapplication. This represents a serious health risk and can cause the crops loss. In Bowell, the leftover pesticide directly into the soil is an incorrect way to eliminate the substance. If the water table is shallow, the groundwater may be contaminated. In the rainy season, the substance can be dragged through runoff to surface water bodies. 82% not use personal protective equipment. The majority of the farmer use straw hat. Some of them use face masks and a few use goggles, gloves and boots. The clothing used during pesticide application is long sleeve shirt and pants. The climate of the area can be influenced the use of protective personal equipment because this gear is uncomfortable in tropical temperature. Most of the pesticide used by the farmer has different chronic health effects. For example, the organophosphate pesticide can produce neurotoxic effect. The paraquat has been associated with the Parkinson. The atrazine can cause endocrine system damage. Adverse effect in the reproductive system and the methylglycol has been associated with hematological abnormalities and some degenerative disease. Some research has associated the pesticide with the high prevalence of chronic kidney disease. The substance can enter to the body through oral, dermal or inhalation route and damage the kidney. In conclusion, Pesticide contamination is present in Kimagro former pesticide factory area. The analysis of soil, water, and air sample is necessary for quantification of the contamination. Loma del Gallo population has been exposed to pesticide from two sources: Kimagro pesticide factory and pesticide applied in near crops. Farmers carry out bad practice in all states of pesticide handling. The lack of use of protective personal equipment use is probably one of the major causes of the exposure to pesticide by the farmer. Pesticide exposure can be affect both human and environmental health. Thanks for your attention.